Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Pods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a brick haul, although I'm not entirely sure this counts as a brick haul, but it's something that I've bought that's Lego related, as you can see. Um, so I thought I would open it up on brick haul day and have a look and see what I thought of it and let you know whether it's worth getting or not. Um, so obviously it's coming to the end of the year and we're looking forward to next year and things we might get done and always helpful to have a calendar obviously so i thought this year well i'll have a look and see if they do a lego one so i spotted this calendar and i thought yeah that fits in with things i like so i'll i'll get it there was not enough information i felt to see whether it was a good calendar or not so hopefully this video will be useful to you to work out if you like this or not so i'll open it up and we'll have a look and see at the, what the pictures and the calendar itself are like inside Okay, so it's got a, a peelable sticker at the bottom here, which comes off quite nicely, so no damage there, just to keep it closed. And then once that's off, there is also a cardboard layer in there to keep it rigid, so I'll remove that as well. That's a bit of cardboard. I bought this from Amazon and it actually did come quite well packaged as well, so no complaints so far so let's have a look at January I'm going to look into the future in fact this isn't January this is um, the last four months of 2021 so in fact I can start using it straight away if I'd known that maybe I would have got it sooner I quite like this image here very rainbowy that's my kind of thing and lots of Lego pieces on show there so So this is from Conical Books, this calendar, and they are actually just reusing pictures that are in the Still, Still Life book that you can get. I don't know how many of the images, I don't know how many images there are in there. I'll have a check to see if it lists how many pages there are. But this is the very first picture. So you've got some, some birds, a little cityscape done out of plates. I don't know if the, the lines are actually Lego lines. I don't think they are it's pretty boring January and that's a shame because that's where my breath is you've got Martin Luther King Jr. Day there and Bank Holiday in the UK so it's multiple multiple different um, countries that are covered there's also some Lego facts on there so 1958 the lego group submits a patent for the lego brick on the 28th of january next one is a like a coffee cup with a bit of coffee or like latte art i guess not bothered by the picture at all um i'm not a coffee drinker so pretty boring watering can some plant pots those aren't lego and then inside you've got various bits of brick to denote mud and things or earth and lots of different of the um, plant pieces in there slightly more interested in the one uh, the previous ones but still not overly bothered i mean the pictures are bright and and vibrant but i don't know these ones are weird these bees they just they don't look very well made the bees a little jar of honey so it's it's kind of like a uh mixed together of real objects and lego to sort of look like real objects this is one that ian said was his favorite he he was not bothered by most of them but the bouquet is actually pretty good unsurprisingly this is the image they use on the front cover of the still life book to try and hook you in so it's one of the better ones i don't know if you recall this image from the jigsaw puzzle that we did on the channel a little while back i'll link that up the review we did of that but yeah conical books are, are reusing their images all over the place it would seem some casualties of um the previous picture the, these are the the scoops that have fallen on the floor yeah really not bothered by that at all oh gosh sorry there's a picture of feet in my calendar why would anyone want that 
I mean, the Lego part, fine. And I can see what they're trying to do. But I really don't want to look at someone else's feet in my calendar. Quick, let's move on. Right, okay. This one I like. Um, I think based on scale, this is probably quite a small bowl. Because that's the Lego fish and they're only tiny. Um, but I, I like the way they've done that one. So that one's probably one of my favourites. A little spray can. Um, some interesting pieces, but no, again, not bothered. This is the picture that's on the front cover. And actually, I think I prefer it with the blue background to this one. Um, yeah, the blue background definitely looks nicer. But this is, again, Ian said this is one of the more interesting looking ones. So that's November. Um, some presents for Christmas. Um, that, I think that's even just these are Duplo bricks as well I mean Duplo is still Lego so I, I'm not complaining but I don't know and so then on the back without opening it you can see all of the pictures but I hadn't noticed the feet so that was definitely a surprise for me Um, so yeah this is the book oh no this wasn't the still cover uh, still life cover there's the a different one so there's definitely more images in the still life book than they've reused here but I just I kind of feel the reuse of, of pictures is a bit lame if you already have this book then this calendar I guess it's going to go in your home and show other people you like Lego or in the office if you've still got an office to go to um, but I don't know I'm a little disappointed so they seem to have done an okay job of getting all of the public holidays for my country in here I can't verify for other countries but they seem to have quite a lot in there so you've got Ireland, US, Canada, I've seen references to all of those. Also quite a few of maybe the Chinese festivals in there as well. Um, I don't know for sure because I don't know what they're called, but they they seem to be in there. And there's a lot of LGBTQ references as well. Some of the equality things in there. National Suicide Prevention Day or things like that. And I think about seven or eight references to like Lego milestones. So the 90th anniversary is in here the lego movie is in here so it's it's got some interesting things and there's a decent amount of space in the boxes to write for a family as well so it's definitely a very usable calendar but i'm just disappointed by these images and the fact that they are reused from another one of the lego chronicle books items so definitely uh an okay calendar and there's not many really choices available for a lego lover to have as a calendar so it fits that box but yeah the images themselves are a little disappointing and i am not overly keen on this but i'm still going to use it as a nice calendar put it up in my kitchen somewhere i'm sure people will expect to see that from me in the background of my kitchen um let me know what you think of the calendar in the comments below if you're interested in picking it up, I've got some links down below for you to do that. If you like brick hauls that actually involve bricks, I mean, there's obviously bricks in this, but real bricks, then check out our brick haul playlist as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.